this is my Sabre Forge. What do you call sun? Um, but it's been weathered to make it look like the V2 stunt version. Um, I've also had a Graphex clamp put on. Um, it is the first version of the Prodigal Sun. Um, I've had Kill Key put in here, recharge port, and it's got tactile switches for the activation and blaster. Uh, it has a Sabre Forge uh, soundboard, so it can't have any sound fonts added to it. It's got what it is on it, which is not a lot. Um, it's been nicely weathered. It takes a one inch blade. It's not included. Neither is a stand, and neither is a charger. We take the kill key out. So it's got hero, activation. And then you have blaster. And it does do up as well. There is no no flash on clash. It's just a standard green LED, 12 watts I think. Um, so no flash on clash or anything like that. Um, I'll put a blade in. So it needs um, a one inch thin walled blade, which I don't have. That's why it's not going in properly, because all my blades are thick walled for better drilling. Hence why there's no blade for this lightsaber. It has got another sound font. This seems to be wired up differently. So when you activate it, there's no green light, but when you do the blaster, the green light comes on. So acts as if there's like a flash on clash. I'm not sure why it was doing that. And then it has um saber tracks, which is just play some crappy music really. So it's really it's only got the one sound from. So it's got hero, the lights up, blaster, and then blade lock up. And that's it. Uh, I've had tactile switches fitted underneath there. Uh, you can get to the soundboard, but you can't do anything to it anyway. And then just the kill key. So it's pretty standard sound, really. Nothing special, but it does look quite accurate. For a V2. That's it, really. Any questions, just ask. Thank you.